see how things evolve when you take your time and plan it out and talk it out and talk with the other members on the team. We're doing, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some barnwood accents on the inside of this. And that is really like the ultimate for me because not only are we doing cool stuff, then we're repurposing some lumber and making some some really fantastic interior appointments. But the knobs on the on the things, you you darn right they're going to be barnwood. We can make this out of you know a nice piece of reclaimed barnwood oak. I don't want to overdo it. Don't want to make it look like an old woody, like an old woody, like an old woody. But we can do some really nice accent pieces. Uh, the other question is, do you want your batteries inside of a box, a battery box? Yeah, probably. Wait, let's take a look and see what the size of the battery is. And then we can find, you know, the second seat somewhere. Yeah. Uh, even a stock one would be great. Yeah. And that way our, our battery weight is, the center of gravity is as low as we possibly can get it without major modification. And the other location that I had thought about that I have not seen on the internet is in between the front seats. That probably would affect the handling quite a bit because we are removing probably about 100 pounds from taking the engine out. I mean, this is actually as close to the center as you can get without fouling up the possibility yeah. of that second row seat. We're gonna have to get the shop back out. Yeah. And then we'll measure and determine the size to make the battery boxes. I wonder who that person is. We need to talk to them. The width, so they're 54 inches if we put two side by side lengthwise. There's a lot that uh, goes into that. Gee, somebody should uh, make an instructional video on how to do this. <laughs> The batteries are what, 12? Yeah, 12. By? 27. By three and a half. I think these are equidistant. Maybe they're not. Six. Six. Yeah, those are equidistant. So they, I, I think it can be mounted in any, any orientation. Yeah, it's going to be either this way. Gotcha. Okay. Bolted onto here. Mm hmm. Yeah. We were doing all the homework for you guys. Uh, let's pull out the seat and see what we can come up with as far as... Yeah, it, it felt like they were living this, in there. This is knob from. This is a, a bona fide Volkswagen knob. Oh, well, well, we'll put this in the spare part box. Okay, boy, well, do you want to grab a side of the seat? It just lift right out. Yeah. It is two pieces. Nice. Oh, it is two pieces. That's kind of cool. Yes, it is. So that is sort of tempting to leave it that way. Oh boy, mouse homes. Yes. That needs to be fully redone. That changes my opinion on moving the seat forward a little bit. Gotcha. Hard. That's hard to redo that. It, it would be, like, except maybe just make the bench wider. Yeah. Build a custom bench. Ooh, leave yeah, yeah, leave yeah. the back. Leave this, and just, and then leave this here. And go, build. Yeah. But to here. A, a couch seat kind of thing, yeah. And we, yeah, I can upholster and make something completely custom. And, and I you, think that's probably the best case I like, scenario. I like that. I like that, yeah. Um, and then leave this and then just build it. Yeah. Hey, you got to call. Dustbusters? Oh, but um, <laughs> Yeah. We got lots of stuff. We want to sand this down really well. Since we're going to be covering this area with a battery box that's built into the seat, we should probably do a really good undercoating on this. Oh, it's a dime. I don't think going to call. Those must be. Is my tape measure handy? The batteries are approximately 12 inches wide. So we'll have enough room to put all five batteries right here and make the battery box the base for our rear bench seat. We can upholster it and make it look like it's original and that way we can maintain the, the original seat back that folds down. And of course we'll design that so when that folds flat, we'll be able to, to carry cargo in there just like it was when it was stock. So there's Zero net loss of uh, storage space. I like it. And that'll give us a direct access to go through, technically that's the firewall, 
And then, of course, on the underside, the heater tube right runs there. up the middle. Yeah. That would be a great chase to run our wires. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool if it were like a dime from the same year as the bus? Let's see how much money we can make off selling parts that we're not going to use. No harm in that. No harm in that. But I'm glad we decided to keep the, 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 the stock seat back and we'll go ahead and build just a nice custom thing and then sell the original seat or whatever and then maybe try to find one of the, the split fold down middle seats for this model of, uh, of transporter. This is fun. And I think that this may be able to go into the stock fuel filler. And then the, one of the really nice things is with the, the battery box here in the stock Volkswagen, there's, there's so much room in here to work. And we could probably make billet aluminum bezel for this if need be. This actually looks like it'll fit inside the filler neck. Looks like it's able to recess completely inside. And then of course we have a direct route down through the battery box once we remove the firewall and the fuel tank. We'll have all that room in there because this, the fuel tank is from here all the way up to the seat wall behind the seat. That'll give us all kinds of room in there to be able to put our control box and all of our wiring. You know, you're going to take some rusty bolts out later. It's good to go ahead and put some penetrating oil on them because every little bit helps. Six screws that we're going to take out. Next time we're actually, we're not going to talk. We're going to actually do. We'll take the filler neck out. It's just about demo next time. You want to hang this from the mirror as like a, there you go. we'll be able to keep the, the original spare tire. We'll be able to keep the original access hatch. Um, if you put them like this and you start stacking them, something goes wrong, you got to unstack it. Mm -hmm. So if you lift them up like this, up on, up on end. like this, now you're talking about a box that's going to emulate the size of the seat uh -huh. and be a lot more serviceable. And then in, in the future, if you want to duplicate that box, you can move it to and make another one or and, and, you can make it eight. You can make it 10. And then they slide in and out like a disc, man. Yeah. And that makes them modular. Yeah. That's a good idea. We're going to relocate the coach battery, which is the stock 12 volt battery that runs the lights and, and the horn and, the, and all that stuff. This can live where the, the, the stock battery went. And that gives us the shortest amount of wire from the charger port and there's a, down to the charger. So that's where that's going to go, which is ideal. There'll still be plenty of room for the stock light um, thing in there. Since the back seat is black and the seats that are in the front are brown and they obviously don't match, we can reupholster everything if you want. Yep, I was planning on that. So we'll see you on the next episode of E is for E. Not very heavy. Really? No. I couldn't find it. Well, we will verify its fitment. Jamie Lester's uh, bus, which is, I think it's 73 or 77. It, it's the same whatever it is. Do we have gloves? I wonder if we can pull that up out of the plastic. We get the whole oh, yeah. It's closed. Yeah.